garden. So much to do to get ready for spring. Hi, it's me Josie. It's winter time right now and I remember my mom saying that you can grow potatoes in the winter. While I was doing some research, I found an expert on the potato. His name is Spud. Hi Spud! How are you doing? Yeah, well I've been waiting in my trailer for quite a while and just wondered when we're getting going. You're on. What? I'm on? Yeah, you're on. Oh, sorry about that. You'd think I was a new potato. I'm not. Yeah, you should come down to the garden and meet my mom. We might need some of your advice. Yes, I can talk about myself. You could say I have good eyes for the subject. <laughs> yeah. Many don't realize that I don't mind being cut up because I can grow from my eyes other potatoes. Yes, I can. When I started my career, I was as hard as nails. A tough young russet. Like most potatoes, we come from very large families. Hey, where are we going? I could tell you lots of stories about that. I used to live in the... Hey, Mom, what are you up to? Oh, I'm just uh, working away in the garden. There's so much to do. I don't know where to start. Remember you said we could grow potatoes in the winter? How do you do that? Potatoes are the one thing, yeah, that we can grow in the winter. We should do that now. Awesome, I'm so excited. Josie, you should hear from a potato. Oh, I forgot about Spud. Hi Spud, we're in the garden. Spud, oh my goodness. I've never met a talking potato before. Where in the earth did you come from? Yes, from the earth, right here under your feet. <laughs> yeah, but the first uh, seed potato, let's see, uh, 1925. The best way to grow potatoes is from potatoes, just like spud. Seed potatoes are not just any potato. You could plant regular potatoes from a grocery store, but they are often treated with pesticides and can spread disease through your whole crop, so it's not the best idea. Grocery store potatoes are often sprayed with herbicides as well, so they don't sprout. Seed potatoes are what you would ideally want and can come in 300 different varieties, from russet, Yukon, to fingerling. Your garden supply store will have options for you to choose from, and they can order you any type of potato they don't already have in the store. Once you have your seed potatoes, place them in any warm, dry spot, like a bowl in your kitchen. Leave them in a location where the sun shines for a total of one week. Doing so ensures that the seed potatoes sprout. Hey Spud, can you tell us about your eyes? Yes, as I was saying, the eyes of a potato grow protuberances, offshoots that grow out and eventually form buds for a brand new potato. This is the essential growing process of the potato. Hey Spud, what plants do you want to be planted with? Oh, thanks for asking. Well, I like bush beans. I like uh, cauliflower and broccoli are fine. Marigolds, they're pretty, I like them. And many others too. These are my companion plants. Companion plants are specific plants that are planted alongside the vegetable plant to protect it or to enhance their growth by attracting beneficial insects, luring pests away, or adding beneficial nutrients. 
What about the plants you don't get along with so well? Unfortunately, I don't get along too well with plants like asparagus. And cucumber, carrots, they're not too swell. Melons, parsnips, rutabaga, squash, even tomatoes. Nothing personal. But they either take my sunlight, water, space, or nutrients, and I need those things to be a healthy potato and grow. Well, you can't get along with everyone, I guess. Tiny potatoes are fine to be planted whole, but any spud larger than a golf ball should be cut into chunks about two inches wide, each with at least two sprouts. Usually just cutting the potatoes in half will do. Return the cut potatoes to the warm spot where they were sitting and leave them an additional two to three days to heal before planting. Choose a spot in your yard with lots of sun. Potatoes grow best with six to eight hours of sunlight, but they don't do well with too much heat. Potatoes are tolerant of cool soils and moderate frosts. Medium soil temperature at planting time should be six degrees Celsius. This is why our climate in Nanaimo is great for growing potatoes year round. We do not get a deep freeze. It is good to know the pH of your soil. pH means potential of hydrogen. This could be acid or alkaline. Potatoes prefer soil to be between the pH of 5.5 to 6.5, which is mildly acidic. You can test your soil's pH with a soil pH test kit that you can purchase at your local gardening center. If you are planting potatoes in your garden bed, prepare trenches spaced 24 inches apart and 6 inches deep. Plant the tubers 12 inches apart. Place your halved potatoes cut side down in the trenches with the eye or sprout pointing up toward the sun. You should generally provide your potatoes with 1 to 2 inches of water per week. This includes rainfall. They prefer their soil moist but not waterlogged. Plants will emerge about two to three weeks after planting. When the above ground portion of the plant is 12 inches tall, hill up the soil about six inches around the plants. Hilling up is exactly as it sounds, like making mini mountains. It's okay to cover all the green leaves. Straw or grass mulch also work well to hill up. This process can be repeated up to two to three times throughout the growing period. This will force new potatoes to grow above previously planted ones. You can cover the entire plant with soil or choose to leave the leaves exposed. This may be helpful later as their change in color can signal the potato's growth. When I grow my baby potatoes, I need your help to cover them up so they don't get exposed to direct sunlight. Okay, Josie, so today we're going to make a potato box for spud. Okay. You can also use a potato bag or even a burlap sack. So first what we have to do is get the soil ready for spud and we'll add some compost and some really worms, worms in there. Oh yeah. Look at this big guy. Potatoes prefer loose, loamy soil. Loam is a fertile soil of clay and sand containing humus, which is organic matter. Work out any clumps until the soil is airy and breathable. Well-drained, loamy soil is preferred, but potatoes are not overly fussy if heavy clay or loam soils are used. I am not a fussy vegetable. Now, my cousin to the south, would be fussy. Uh, you know, likes the right soil, gotta have the heat. Well, they're called sweet potatoes. All right, Josie, so we're gonna build this potato box. So have you ever used a drill before? Yes. Okay, awesome. So as 
these potatoes grow up, then we keep hilling them up and you can add different levels to the potato box. So it goes up one level and then when it reaches over again, you put the third level on and you end up with so many potatoes you won't even know what to do with them. So do you want to help me harvest some potatoes from the fall? Yeah, I do. Okay, great. That's my favorite part. Yeah. For potatoes grown for storage and winter use, after about five months, your potatoes will begin to show signs that they've matured. The leaves will turn yellow and the foliage will die back, meaning it's almost time to harvest them. After the leaves have died, the tubers should stay in the ground for another two weeks to allow firming of their skins for storage. Dig them up with a pitchfork, or for more fun, dig them with your hands. That's a good harvest. Well, this has been fun and tiring watching you guys work. You know, I'm no new potato. I think I'm just going to have a nap. Okay, have a great nap. Bye, Spud. Okay, bye, Spud. Bye, Spud. Thank you. <laughs>